for a night, the Wisconsin men's basketball team's plane was forced to make an emergency landing in Pittsburgh after an engine malfunction. This is a picture from their Twitter account. The team was flying home after a game in Maryland yesterday. The team Twitter account says they're safe and staying in Pittsburgh overnight. This morning, the American Red Cross is sending three responders from our area to the south to help support those affected by the winter storms. NBC 26's Brooke Haves is live at the Outagamie County Airport with more this morning. Good morning, Brooke. Good morning, Haley. The first of three responders heads out in about an hour. Kathleen Chu rise from Antwoch. She's headed to Tennessee as part of disaster operations relief. That's where uh, ice is still melting from a crazy ice storm that hit over the weekend. At last check, 18,000 people were still without power and hundreds have been forced out of their homes. The American Red Cross has six shelters open there with more than 200 people in need of help. Now we'll be talking with Kathleen before she heads out on her flight, so stay with us. Uh, we're going to talk with her about what she expects from her trip to the south. The other two responders are headed out later this morning, one from Madison, the other from La Crosse. Live from Outagamie County Regional Airport, Brooke Hafes, NBC 26. All right, thank you, Brooke. Brian joins us now with our weather forecast. Hey, Brian. Hey, Haley. Yesterday we had a high temperature of 34 degrees, believe it or not. It didn't feel that warm because we had that very strong wind, but today, less wind, but colder temperatures. 12 degrees for your high temperature today. 11 on Thursday, so here we go again. Another round of cold. Now, as we head into the weekend, it does warm up a little bit. The normal high for today is 31, so we're behind that each and every day here on the temperature trend. All right, across northeast Wisconsin, you got a three in Appleton, one in Oshkosh, five in Fond du Lac, but a below zero across the north. You have a eight below zero now in Oconto and 14 below zero in Mountain. As we look at the precision satellite and radar across the state and to the west here, you've got an area of snow to the west. It looks a little bit threatening. However, it's going to scoop just to the south of us as we head through the day. So we'll track it here on Precision Cast. You can see by 11 o'clock uh, the snow uh, working through, say, La Crosse and southwestern Wisconsin here. Now we could see a couple snowflakes down towards Marquette, Green Lake, and Fond du Lac counties, and maybe even a few lake effect snow showers later on today. But most of the area will be flake free with partly sunny skies. Guys, your forecast for today partly sunny and cold, a high temperature of 12. For tonight, a low temperature of zero, partly cloudy, bitter cold tonight, wind chills again 10 to 20 below zero. Another very cold night tonight, and we'll look at towards your weekend forecast coming up. New this morning, Oneida police are asking for your help locating a vehicle of interest this morning. This after a battery incident happened around 6.30 last night at the Oneida One Stop on West Mason Street in Green Bay. The vehicle you see here is described as a small two-toned sport utility vehicle. It's thought to be a Hyundai Santa Fe, possibly a 2005. If anyone has any information about the vehicle or the driver, please call the Oneida Police Department.